Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to talk to you about the immune system and vaccination. It's really important to have a good level of understanding about these topics to be able to make informed decisions such as whether to get vaccinated. Your immune system is essential to your survival every single day. It is a complex system present in your entire body. It is important to understand and study the immune system as it plays a primary role in infections, disease, allergy and many other elements of everyday life. The immune system can be broken down into three lines of defence. The first line includes the physical barriers such as skin and mucus, which prevents pathogens from entering the body. A pathogen is anything that can cause disease. This could be a virus, bacteria or another type of microbe. If a pathogen passes the first line of defence, then the body must activate the immune cells, also known as white blood cells. This is a second line of defence. This is non-specific, which means that the body doesn't know exactly what is invading it. The body has a knee-jerk reaction to the pathogen. It wants to get it out of the body as soon as possible, but it doesn't know anything about it to make a response specific to that invader. It uses methods such as releasing histamine, which causes you to itch, or phagocytosis, which is when a cell eats a foreign invader to kill the invading pathogens. If this fails and the pathogen persists, then the body's adaptive immune system is activated. This involves highly specialised immune cells, which learn about the pathogen and attempt to destroy it in very specific ways, identifying its weaknesses and releasing targeted ammunition. If a pathogen manages to outsmart this line of defence, then the pathogen can replicate and cause harm to the person infected. This means that the individual could get very sick and need medical attention or medication. One of the most amazing things about the immune system is that cells have the ability to remember things about pathogens and how to destroy them. This is called immune memory. This is why if you're infected with the same pathogen twice, your immune system is much more rapid the second time as the body knows how to respond. Immune memory is really important for vaccinations. Vaccines are very important to protect an individual and an entire population from disease. There are several different ways to make a vaccine, but each of them has the same purpose, to use a safe version of a pathogen to trigger the body to make an immune response and develop immune memory. This means that when an individual encounters a pathogen for real, the immune system will know exactly how to deal with it. Vaccination will protect the recipient, as well as individuals who have a weak immune system, such as young infants, elderly people and very sick people. These people are immunocompromised, and it can be dangerous to vaccinate them. However, it's even more dangerous for them to become infected, as their immune system is too weak to cope. They can be protected by herd immunity, which is achieved when enough individuals have immunity to an infection, either by vaccination or infection, that the pathogen can no longer spread in the population. There's no longer enough susceptible people in the population to provide a home for the pathogen and the infection dies out. This protects the individuals who are immunocompromised. It is estimated that vaccination prevented 103 million cases of childhood diseases in the last 100 years in the United States. In 1980, smallpox became the first infectious disease to be globally eradicated. This was possible as a result of a successful vaccine. However, in recent years, vaccine acceptance has dropped, which means herd immunity is failing. This has caused minor outbreaks of vaccine-preventable diseases such as mumps in the UK. In recent years, organisations such as the British Society for Immunology and the World Health Organisation have focused on discussing vaccinations with the public to answer any questions and build trust. This allows people to make the informed decision whether they are happy to vaccinate themselves or their children. In the rest of this video, you'll follow the adventure of a virus as it enters the immune system. To continue with this video, please choose whether to vaccinate or not to vaccinate to see how the body's immune system will respond to invasion.